This is a really weird, confusing, difficult, frustrating time for all of us. I think every one of us in the last few weeks has had our lives disrupted. We've had our schedules changed. I think we've read things that have maybe freaked us out. Some of us don't know how to cope with just the things that are going on, so we've chosen to be funny with it and, and make light of what's happening because we don't really know how to process it. I think if you're watching this video right now, you probably feel a lot like all of us. You feel confused, you don't know what to do, and maybe there's this weird sense of uncertainty that you have. And I know that we're all feeling that way. But before we panic, before we freak out, before everybody loses their mind and buys all the toilet paper, I just wanna take a second and maybe just pause. Let's just pause for a second and think about what this moment that we're all going to experience, whether we want to or not, is going to give us. It's going to give us something. Yes, it's going to take something. Yes, we're all gonna experience loss. Yes, this is going to be difficult. I don't wanna downplay any of that for a moment. But what I wanna talk about for a second is there might be something that we can learn and something that we can gain from all of this. If you're new to this show, if you've never seen me sit on this crate and talk, what this show was designed to do was, it was designed to talk to kids in the classroom. Where we talk about topics like success, we talk about topics like finishing well, about loving on each other, about courage and following your passions and being a good human. And the reason that we created this show was to have conversations in the classroom. And for a lot of you, that classroom is about to change. And we're all gonna experience this weird shift and this weird transition, but I don't think that we need to walk into this thing terrified. I don't think we need to walk into this thing scared. I don't think we need to walk into this thing looking at what we're gonna lose. But I just want us to take a moment and think for a second. In the midst of what we're losing, I think there's an opportunity for us to try and gain something different, to try and gain something new. I mean, all you parents out there, think about it. Think about how many nights you've scrambled your kid from one practice to the next. You've left something 10 minutes early to get to something 10 minutes late because your kids are flying from activity to activity and all of a sudden in a moment, now they're just gonna be at home. So maybe this is your chance to really have some of these conversations with your kids that you've always wanted to have. For you young people who are watching this, for you students, maybe this is a chance for you to get to know your siblings better, a chance for you to get to know your parents better. This is an opportunity for you to get to know yourself better. I really think that all of us have a chance to gain something from this, but I want us to be mindful. I want us to be mindful of all of the young people out there who are gonna experience things in ways that we can't fathom. There are around 4.5 million homeless young people in the United States of America. There are almost 30 million students who get food from school daily. That's where they eat during the week. And that's something that we all have to figure out how we're gonna solve. That's a problem that all of us need to find a solution to. I want you to take a moment and think about some of your classmates. Some of your classmates who maybe don't fit. Some of your classmates who maybe sit by themselves. I want you to think for a moment about some of those students at your school that maybe they don't fit. Maybe they sit alone at the lunch table every day. Maybe you've walked past them in the halls a million times and you've always wondered what their story was but you never took the time to find out and now they're just gonna be at home. And I want you to understand, there are a lot of you watching this, I know that you're gonna be forced to be at home right now and that's a place you work really, really hard to not have to be. And so I want you all to understand that this now is a moment more than any other time where we need to be a community. And maybe you don't understand why everyone's calling school off and maybe you don't understand why everyone's being quarantined. Here's what you have to understand. We're doing this because we care about the people around us. We're staying away from each other because we love each other. This whole idea of flattening the curve, what you need to understand, maybe you've made light of this whole thing. Here's what you need to understand. You need to understand that if we all got sick at the same time, the healthcare system couldn't handle it. But if we all got sick over time, we might have a shot at handling this. So one of the best things you can do for your community is self-quarantine. One of the best things you can do for your community is stay at home. Listen, it would be easy for all of us just to sit back and start binge watching all of our favorite shows. It would be easy for you to sit there and just scroll on TikTok mindlessly. It would be easy for you to read every single news report that comes out about what is happening and what you're gonna do about it and how crazy things are gonna get. That's easy, anybody can do that in this time. But what takes grit, what takes heart, what takes compassion, what takes leadership, what takes empathy is choosing to use this time to find a way to impact the people around you. Come up with something that you can do to come out of this with something tangible and practical to say, I did a good thing with my time. I did something I'm proud of. Nobody wants to look back at this time and wish that they would have done something to make their community better. Nobody wants to look back at this time and regret being lazy and bitter and angry at something that we couldn't control. Every one of us has a chance as an individual to use this as a time to grow as an individual. We all have a chance to use this to try to love and make our communities a little bit better. We as a nation have an opportunity to come together, put our differences aside for a moment, Moment and just love on each other. And to all you adults out there watching this, think about what you say. Think about what you talk about in front of your kids. Think about the things that you do on your timelines as well because everyone's paying attention to everyone now. We're all gonna be looking at the same things, paying attention to the same stories, doing the same kind of stuff. My challenge for us is this. 
Let's not stay rooted in negativity. Let's not stay rooted in bitterness. Let's not stay rooted in frustrations. Let's find a way to stay rooted in hope. Let's find a way to stay rooted in optimism. I think we all need to try to find a way to stay rooted in love.